Hey guys, this is Mike from Virtual Impact 360, and today I want to show you how you can replace this white sky or this gray sky with a pretty blue sky with puffy white clouds. And so uh, it's real quick to do. This is a real quick tutorial, and I hope that it helps you. First thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to duplicate this layer right here, our background layer. So left click on the layer, drag it and drop it right there. Now we've duplicated these two layers. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to find our sky and we want to drag it and drop it onto our composition. So here's the sky that we're going to be using. So come over here to our move tool. We want to left click on the sky. We're going to drag it and we're going to set it right onto our composition here. Now you'll notice that our sky is smaller than our photo. And so you, right here we have all this white um, sky right here. So we want to go ahead and make sure that layer number one or the layer that has your sky is selected. Hold down your control and your T key. And now we're going to be able to resize this sky. Go ahead and get this little corner right here. Hold down your shift key and drag it. Now let go. When we have it positioned where we want it, we'll go ahead and click, click the move key, then choose apply. So this is the sky that we're going to be using in our composition. Now we will, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and select this layer and drag it and place it in between the two background layers. Next, we want to come up to this background layer right here. Now we want to come up to select and then choose color range. Make sure that we have sample colors selected. Make sure that none of these two options are selected. If they are, just deselect it. Our fuzziness, you can leave, uh, you can place it at 61%. You need, might need to play around with it. It's up to you. But then we're going to go ahead and left click in this box right here. Now notice that when we left click in the box, we have some clouds that appeared. So what we want to do is hold down your shift key. Now you'll notice next to your eyedropper is the little plus sign. And we're just going to go ahead and click randomly in this box in the sky area. And once we feel that all of this area right here is white, in fact, all the area that is white will be deleted. And so when we feel that we have it where we want it, go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to delete all of that white sky. So go ahead and click the delete button. So now there's our blue sky. We've just removed our white sky. Go ahead, let's get rid of the marching ants. Now you'll notice that when we deleted the white sky, we also deleted some of the house. So we want to go ahead and we want to bring back all that we deleted that we, we need. So go ahead and click on your eraser tool. Make sure that your top layer, your background, uh, the house is selected and Next, what we want to do is hold down your Alt key, and we are just going to bring back parts of the house that we deleted when we removed the sky. Just kind of go around the edges here. You may have to zoom in. You can see right there. Again, using your eraser tool, hold down your Alt key. Right in here is a few spots. And then over here, again, eraser tool, hold down your Alt key. OK, 
Okay, looks pretty good to me. Now another trick that you can do, if you notice, like I said, these palm fronds, when we deleted the white sky, there's some edges that we need to clean up just so that we make it look more natural. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Let's go ahead and we want to duplicate this top layer. So left click it, drag it, and drop it. Now we want to select the second layer right here, second from the top. And then we want to come over and we want to go to filter and then choose blur, then choose Gaussian blur. Now for the radius in pixels, we don't want a high number. All we want to do is we want to blur the edges of you know where the trees, the, these palm fronds are. So we, we don't want to get too crazy with the blur. So just, you know, make this a low number. Click OK. Now come back to this top layer. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to take our eraser tool and we're going to make sure that um, we can make our size a little bigger. But 139 pixels, hardness 50%, that's fine. If you want, you can, you can lower this a little bit. 24%, that, that's fine. Now what we're going to do, make our brush a little bigger, is we're just going to go over the tops. So we're not going to get too crazy here. And you can see what's happening. I want to make it smaller and we'll just get in this little area right here. Basically, we just we just blurred the edges so they're not so crisp and noticeable. Get in here and do that as well. So that's basically it. That's how you can take a photo that has a white sky like this and how you can replace that white sky or that gray sky or sky that's unpleasing with a pretty blue sky with puffy white clouds. Okay, so I really appreciate you taking the time and watching this tutorial and I hope that it made sense to you and I hope that all of your skies are pretty blue skies with puffy white clouds. Thanks for watching.